Medical tourism has always existed, and it consists in the search for better, cheaper, or easier medical treatment in other countries. After all, why should you be restricted to just healthcare in the country you were born or live into? If there is a huge menu of options around the world, often better and cheaper than you to have available to you in the country you live in. However, people tend to prefer to travel for more expensive and complex procedures, especially those that require hospitalization, such as surgeries, for example. This is changing with the COVID pandemic, which is bringing a new focus on preventive medical tourism. Due to disparities between countries in access to vaccines, Many people are asking themselves how could they get access to vaccines that are currently available in other countries. And that's where vaccine tourism comes in. So we are here to discuss the options on where to go to to get your COVID vaccine doses. If you are interested in it, please subscribe because I'm going to try to keep this video updated, releasing new versions of it as new countries endorse or cancel their tourist vaccine sectors. We read that a lot of the information available may be uncertain or speculative, so please make sure to check all this yourself before making any decision on it. The first country or territory you should consider is any country or territory you hold a passport or a permanent residency permit from and is advanced in vaccination. If you are a double, a triple or a multiple citizenship holder, and one of these is an Israeli or British citizenship, for example, you might consider traveling to these countries you are a citizen of and getting vaccinated in the most standard, regular way, which is likely to be quite simple. Other countries or territories may only require a proof of residency, meaning that if you hold real estate in countries that have advanced vaccination, you might want to check if you can get vaccinated with that address even if you don't actually live there, for example, an investment property. I strongly advise you to seek a local lawyer before acting on it though, because this may or may not be technically legal and you don't want to inadvertently defraud the local health system. The same applies to workarounds in some specific jurisdictions. Some countries are actively trying to discourage vaccine tourism to prevent the local population from facing competition and try to get a vaccine shot, which could have negative political consequences for the local authorities. This is usually manifested as residency requirements. And this is what we see, for example, in some American states. Could you get around it by renting an Airbnb, for example, moving to that state, living there for some weeks or some months? and then getting vaccinated. Perhaps, most likely, you would succeed in getting the vaccine. What you want to make sure is if it's technically legal, if there isn't a minimum length of residency to get vaccinated that may not actively be enforced, but that you may be inadvertently infringing upon. A similar workaround could be proposed, for example, for Dubai or Abu Dhabi, in the United Arab Emirates, which is another country that's extremely ahead in terms of vaccination. While officially the UAE is vaccinating only residents and citizens, some sources claim that getting a residency visa in the UAE is a relatively quick process, taking less than a month, usually. The way this could be interpreted is that if you have the money and the time, you could apply for a residency visa in Dubai or Abu Dhabi, then go through the entire process, move to one of these cities, wait until your process has been completed, and then stay in the country for as long as necessary to get both vaccine shots. It does not look like the UAE is actively discouraging vaccination from foreigners, but as always, I would strongly advise talking to a local immigration lawyer to verify if this is completely and perfectly legal before attempting it. Some countries are in this type of gray area in which there is conflicting news on whether 
foreigners could easily or not get vaccinated, such as, for example, in the case of Panama. And then we have the gold standard for vaccine tourism, which are the countries that are, at least tacitly, consenting to tourism vaccination, which is the case currently of Russia and probably in the near future of the Maldives. The arrival of foreigners in Russia specifically seeking to get the vaccine has been widely publicized in recent days, and the Kremlin, if not openly for the proposal, at least appears not to be opposing it, and not taking any kind of action to prevent it, which is as close to endorsing as we get. If you live in Europe, this might be an excellent opportunity for you, particularly because most of the trips leave from Europe. So you can get a semi-official travel package with some degree of legitimacy. World Visitor reports that the vaccine costs 200 to 220 euros at a private clinic in Russia and includes two possible travel packages, one including two short trips to Moscow to get each of the doses and another option of a 23-day stay in Russia. The short trips start at 1,600 euros, and the 23-day stay costs 2,600 euros. It openly mentions people living in Germany and Switzerland and Austria. Whether it would be possible to apply for this travel package if you live outside of these countries or outside of Europe is not completely clear to me. Given that World Visitor is a Norwegian travel agency, I believe so. There are also other options from the German travel agency Fitheisen and from the Austrian Impfreisen. I'm currently trying to contact all these agencies and governmental agencies and better report on more accurate data in the next video. There are also news from multiple news outlets that the Maldives plan to offer COVID-19 vaccination for tourists. This would be part of an integrated strategy to maintain tourism to the Isles, which heavily depend on it, by offering foreigners the vaccine so they don't pass on visiting the Indian Ocean tropical paradise. This is a program even more official than the Russian one and the most endorsed we have yet. However, it's not currently in action. They are waiting before they have a greater coverage of their own citizens. This is also the reason I think we are likely to see an increase in the offers of vaccine tourism in the next months. Many island nations and micronations have very small populations which are easy to completely vaccinate, leading to a relative oversupply of vaccines, whereas they depend heavily on tourism, which incentivizes them to be open to the possibility of vaccinating foreigners. So if I had to bet, I would guess we are likely to see other jurisdictions heavily based on tourism and its small populations opening up to this new creative form of tourism. So far we have one semi-official program in Russia, one official but not yet started program in the Maldives, and quite a few technically legal, not actively discouraged possibilities around the world. Thank you for your attention. Please check with your lawyer before making any decision regarding going to other countries to take the vaccine. This is not medical advice. And if you are considering the possibility of going abroad to get vaccinated, consider subscribing, because I'll try to keep this list updated as developments occur. Thank you for your attention, and I hope to see you on the next video.